to go to for the how to, you know that you want to get beautiful. Prince. Happy Monday, Primpers. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. Welcome to my beauty playlist. Another episode of my beauty obsessions of the moment. So to start with, you may have noticed that I'm wearing rather a pink lip today. It's courtesy of MAC. A chromographic pencil in process magenta and it was inspired by the recent Diane von Furstenberg show at New York Fashion Week where the models lips were all painted in this product and um, there's something about magenta I think which is really great at the moment in Australia as a transseasonal buy because technically it's equal parts blue and red light which means it's both cool and uh, warm and that means that not only is it good for all skin tones but um, it also suits all situations whether that's a dreary rainy day or a really bright sunny one so um, good one to keep in mind if you're needing something new to take you into the next season um, like I said it's um, a pencil and um, the thing with pencils is that you can wear them not just to line lips but to color in lips but you just need to make sure that um, you apply them to really well conditioned lips and maybe even dab on some balm on top just to make it a little bit more comfy to wear um, having said that this one is quite creamy um, and you will also get good mileage out of it probably four to six hours at least so it's a great little keeper this one um, it's from the pro range which you may or may not know it's the makeup artist um, range within the MAC range and um, you don't have to be a makeup artist to buy it though which um, is good to know you just need to track it down at either the South Yarra store in Melbourne or the Paddington store in Sydney and um, it's $32 so pretty reasonable price I think um, as the, this will last a long long time. Um, you've probably also noticed that I'm wearing very white nails today and um, white nails are another trend that um, popped up recently on New York runways although a season ago and since then I've had a little bit of a love-hate relationship with them depending on what you wear and how um, well they're applied they can look really um, really stark and chic and fashion forward but if you're not careful you can just end up looking like you're back at high school painting your nails with liquid paper and I know I've been there and um, have come out with some quite um, cringy memories of those times so um, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to um, pick up the trend but then along came Chanel's new Hong Kong collection starring a white nail polish which is called Eastern Light and I thought if anyone can convince me that white nails can be chic it's going to be Chanel so I um, think I'm sold um, you need two coats to get this right which is um, pretty much the same for any any white polish um, and the result is um, really fresh and really crisp and um, not liquid papery at all I don't think so always a good thing um, also best to wear on short squarish nails I think for best effect um, and it is as I said part of the Hong Kong collection there is a um, polish called Western Light which is a really dark warm chocolatey brown which could be quite fabulous when we're in the depths of winter and um, for all of you Chanel lovers out there you'll be really excited that there's also this um, beautiful eyeshadow quintet which has the um, signature Chanel uh, quilting as a detail so that's um, quite the fabulous splurge of the moment that's $100 the nail polishes are both $39 so um, head to your um, nearest Chanel counter or call 1300 Chanel I'll be able to tell you which counters actually do stock this um, color collection at limited time so get your skates on for that one now my next thing well I wish you could smell me as well as see me because I smell quite fabulous today if I may say so myself it's all because of this little guy um, although I should say girl because she's such a little sex bomb of a scent. Um, she's by Agent Provocateur and she's called Petale Noir, which means black petal in French. Um, and Agent Provocateur, as you may know, is the really saucy English lingerie brand. And um, you also probably know some of its earlier scents. This is the original um, Agent Provocateur and it's a really moody, dark, um, rosy floral. And um, this one is actually a really similar theme. It is, like its name suggests, um, a kind of black 
floral um, feel. Um, you get this from the packaging, you can see that there's a really beautiful pink floral um, bottle and then it's offset by this black chain and that just comes off before you spray it. So um, you also get it in the notes. Um, there are really beautiful rosy and rich floral notes in the heart and then at the base you've got so much going on, you've got like ginger and cedar wood and sandalwood and musk and leather and even tobacco leaves. So it's a really complex scent, as I guess the most passionate of love affairs are. If you like your um, perfumes really quite um, full bodied and feminine, then um, I check this out. It's out at David Jones from today, um, as is the lingerie. So um, next time you're in the mood for a lacy garter and a new perfume to match, you know where to go. Um, a Jean Provocateur at David Jones. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, some new skincare that I'm in love with. And um, it's from a brand called Event, which you probably know as um, a cult French pharmacy brand. And I'm sure you also know this mist. Um, this is one of those um, face sprays that everyone kind of does at the moment, but this one was one of the originals. And I don't know about you, but I've got one on my desk and in my car and in my bag. And whenever I'm feeling a little bit flustered, I just spray it all over. And um, I just makes you feel so beautiful, but I don't want to talk about that today. I want to talk about the new event products, which are for um, rosacea. There's a cleanser and there's um, a concentrate um, treatment cream. And um, I've battled rosacea for years. And um, I think it's partly because of all of the products that I have to test for my job. So um, my skin gets a little batty when I have thrown too many active ingredients into the mix. And so what I try to do is every few weeks, I really pair it back to some really simple and super soothing skincare, which is exactly what this is. This um, cleanser is a wipe off cleanser. It's really nurturing. It's really comforting. Um, and it's just a beautiful, um, it's simple buy as well as, um, as one that feels luxurious, if that makes sense. But, um, definitely has been helping to keep my rosacea in check for the last week or so and this concentrate is obviously something that you don't wipe off this is this is something that stays on the skin helping to um, keep you fighting against all the day's aggressors and if you have rosacea you probably know that you need to fight rosacea both um, internally and externally so in terms of the internal um, things to do it's really just knowing what your triggers are and avoiding them so if that's wine which is a bummer, or if it's spicy food, or if it's stress, which is easier said than done, you just need to try to um, take yourself out of that situation so you don't get the flare-ups in the first place. But in terms of getting those flare-ups and dealing with them, um, these two products would be great. Um, the cleanse is $34.95 and the concentrate is $38.95 and they're at pharmacies at the moment. Um, the last thing I wanted to rave about today is also on the subject of skincare. It is not a newbie, um, it's a bit of a cult classic. Um, it's called Kiehl's Midnight uh, Recovery Concentrate. And um, the reason I've been using this lately and loving it is that um, I'm not getting much sleep at the moment due to two certain little people in my household who think that 5 a.m. is a really respectable time to wake up, which it's so not. So the only way that I've been dealing with this is to try to give my skin a little bit of extra TLC at the end of the night so I can wake up a little bit um, semi-human looking at the crack of dawn um, and this kind of does that um, it's a treatment but it's um it's not a serum or a cream it, it's an oil based one so it really gets in there and really um really nurtures skin it's um oils are olive and evening primrose and then there are essential oils thrown into the mix and one of those is is lavender which um, as you can imagine is so beautiful to work into the skin before sleep because it also works on your um just on your spirits and on your mood and just helps to wind you down after quite a stressful day. Um, so if you're getting very little sleep for either the same reason as myself or you're having much more fun at night than I am, um, invest in this. Although having said that, it's not too much of an investment. It's $59. Um, all the Kiehl's prices are quite reasonable um, these days and it's available at kiehl's.com.au. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you're not waking up as pretty as you would like to, buy that, and um, I'm sure you will. So, that is my playlist for the week. I hope you found a few little nifty ideas, whether it's a sexy new scent or some fun makeup or a little bit of skin TLC. I'm looking forward to seeing you next Monday, and I'm um, sure we'll have a whole new bag of goodies to rave about. But um, in the meantime, enjoy your week. And I will see you next Monday. Bye.